A common question that comes our way is a phone is seized. Now what? This is where people often struggle and hindsight's always 2020. Did you make the right decision or did you not? So let's start with you receive a phone and it's on. If the phone is on, you need to immediately isolate it from the network. In my phone here, I've put this into airplane mode. You also wanna make sure that you go into the settings and you make sure there is no way for any communication to come into that device. So if you have to turn off hotspots or any GPS locations, you wanna do that. Do not remove the SIM or SD card at this point. Um, there have been scenarios where people have found that devices are getting locked when a SIM card is removed. Use your UFED tool to get a good acquisition of the device. Once you are happy with your acquisition, you always wanna open it and make sure the data is not encrypted. If you get a device and it's turned off, what I recommend is that you remove any external components. So this here is an iPhone. If it were an Android and it were turned off, I would right protect the SD card, remove the SIM card, and make sure I get a proper acquisition of it. Now, if you stumble upon a device like the one I'm looking at here where it says the phone is encrypted for security, if you come across a device and it's in this cold state where it says your phone is encrypted for security, this is probably our worst case scenario when we look at these devices. This may require a UFED premium to unlock it. It may also require that you send it off to celebrate advanced services to gain access. And this also happens on iOS devices. So here we're looking at my iPhone, which is going to unlock right now because I'm looking at it. If it did not unlock, and you could not get access to it, this is also something that Celebrate offers as a service where you can gain access and continue on with your investigation.